so am. Welcome to the video, Magic Game. Today, it is my absolute honor to show you some of the best fried chicken in Los Angeles, Rockbird. That's a beast right there. If you're in LA and you are fiending some fried chicken, And in a pretty big size order, Rockford is the place to go. Right now I'm working on their new tenders. Just like country style, no hot stuff. I got their house ranch I'm dipping it into right now. Also got some blue cheese, got some house dip. Mmm. This is a place I took Nick a while ago. And since the first bite of their chicken, I've been hooked. Look at that. What do you put on your chicken tenders? Mmm. Go. I'm so stoked for this. Very stoked for both these big sandwiches, but they got these killer sides over here and uh, first I'm gonna start with the cheesy noodles and it's cool because they use penne noodles which you don't see too much when you get mac and cheese but that's pretty cool mm-hmm like cheese and fried chicken just goes together some form of like mac and cheese or something but this is new fried chicken with some pesto this one isn't hot it's supposed to be more for like summertime i'm a huge pesto guy mm. And then over here we got their new farm boy sandwich, which comes with a chicken breast, little toothpicks for your sandwiches, fresh tomato, seed mayo, big old chicken breast, and some cheese. And of course, you gotta add some bacon on there. This is gonna be nice. I've been eating so much fried chicken lately, so. Okay. You see how like well made that chicken is? You can see all the tenders or the fibers. The last time I was here was July. I was filming like a cheat day video. I got their Mac. I also got some of this in a sandwich, but their Brussels sprouts never has a place made better Brussels sprouts than this. People literally just go to this place for the Brussels sprouts. Mm. I got them in the back here. Yes, I do love veggies. These are the best Brussels sprouts ever. Let's try it with a little uh, house ranch. This one is so good. I love that they added bacon to it, but the cheese is good. And I mean, this place, they just know how to do chicken, but just this is kind of like a comfort food meal.
You got a little meat on your bones meal. Can't go wrong. Mmm. Look at that. The sourdough on the sandwich just makes it. It has a little crunch to it. I'm gonna put that there though. I'm gonna go for one of these. Their tenders are bomb. I'm a huge tenders guy. What do you like more, chicken sandwich or tenders? I was the kid that would always get tenders and like a quesadilla when I would go to restaurants with my family, no matter what type of restaurant. I would ask if they had chicken tenders on the menu. I swear guys, I was not foodie like I am now. I think it's just a kid thing. It's like three things for a while, but. So yeah, some things never change. That pesto salad that they got going on is amazing. It's kind of funny how you call something salad that really isn't salad, but it is just cooked in more like a cool way, temperature wise. Like, like Mac salad or potato salad, which they also have on their menu. I never get English expressions sometimes. Sriracha mayo. Mmm. Dude, this is like my new favorite BL chicken tea. <gasps> BLCT. Mm. I think these are like garlic fries. Dude, they're, they're seasoned fries, and now that they're soggy, they're just the way I like it. See, they're like extra, they put all this stuff on. I think it's like garlic, garlic seasoning on fries, money. Mmm, but chicken man. Probably my, no, it's not my favorite protein, but it is up there. Everybody loves carbs, but seriously, when you cook meat well, when you make it the way it's supposed to be eaten, you really can't go wrong. I mean, you can have a nice steak, good old tenders like this. Sorry, I'm making a sandwich with the rest of my bread that I have here. Mm. Also, I'm pairing my chicken today with Diet Cherry 7-Up, which is splendid. Mm. So this is called the Walk Bird. It is a ginormous chicken sandwich. Look at that. I'm gonna have a fry before. All right, here we go, guys. Ready? Thumbs up if you like chicken sandwiches. Here we go.
That sandwich is exquisite. It uses a sriracha mayo on it, a sweet chili glaze, and it's got that coleslaw in there. But this place, this is my favorite not hot chicken spot in LA. Mmm. And the bun comes from a local bakery. Everything's quality ingredients. Chill, guys. You can't, you, you can't go wrong. Here we go. Ready? For my ranch homies, I hear you guys. <laughs> New favorite ranch right here. Dude, Wingstop is getting worked in the ranch game lately. Hmm. When in doubt, chicken it out. That's what I've been saying. It's a tender. I love chicken too much. Like, it's seriously a bad habit. Mikey, the food's not going anywhere. <laughs> nah, but this is such good food, man. And I've heard they've had people coming in from like far just to get one of these sandwiches. If you look, go to their Instagram, the pictures of these beautiful sandwiches will sell you in a matter of seconds. We got the sriracha mayo and we got pesto. Mmm. And basil. That was actually nice. Fork and tender. Because we are classy. The sweet mayo in this thing is perfect. The sweet chili glaze just adds like a touch of sweetness so you get this little spice, little sweetness, a lot of fried chicken. And then the ranch that I've been dipping it in is very like viscous, very thick. Blue cheese. I'm just feeling chicken today, guys. What should I eat next time? Please let me know. Rockbird, tell them I said what's up. I just came to a weird life thought saying all those sauces. Wow. Honestly, I love the place so much. You have to check it out if you're like a big chicken fan. I will catch you in the next video. Thank you so much for all the support. Magic Gang for life. You guys are the best. Actually, I don't just say that. I mean it. And um, I'll catch you in the next video. All right. Peace, guys.